Dennis's TX is back on the lift. All right, Dennis, go ahead and tell us why your TX is on the lift and what we're going to do about it. All right, well, with two sleds now, I got some comparison. And remembering this old girl from last year, the brakes ain't there what they were. Um, I like to be able to hit the brake and give it a little slide, come to a stop. It just wasn't working. We uh, tried cleaning them. It didn't help at all. So we're going to take the take right. a shaft out. We, is his top chain case bearings leaking all over his brakes, folks. That's what he's trying to get at. Yeah, so we're going to replace the chain case and put a top loader in. Um, better chain case, more modern. Better well, brakes. Better the, brakes. The top loader, we're going to use a jack shaft that has a seal on it. We're going to dig up a drive shaft that has a seal. Those have a ring. We've shown it before. We'll show it again. But So we're going to not only use sealed bearings, but then there's a seal. So there's basically no chance of leaking onto his brakes that's the plan anyways couple couple night job yep we'll, we'll see <laughs> we'll take you along for the ride all right first things first we're going to drop the skid out get that out of the way and then we're going to start up here and uh, we'll pop the cover drain the chain case get the secondary off get the gears out and then we'll pull the chain case off We'll get the jack shaft out, and then we'll get the drive shaft out. And hey, that's supposedly halfway through, right? That's it. If we're half, if the drive shaft's out, that's halfway there. So that's what we're gonna start on. All right, it's check-in time. Skids on the floor, tracks laying their slack, drive shaft still in. These guys are hauling butt. All I did in the last ten minutes was start a pizza in the oven and answer right. some comments on a video. Lonnie's got the chain case coming apart. Dennis has got the secondary out. He's taking out all the uh, all the flange bolts for the bearings. Uh, won't be long, and we'll right, have this we thing apart. Track out to get the new one put in. Yeah, you try. We can make this into a one night deal, possibly. It's going fast. Oh, yeah. You gotta love free airs. No spilled coolant. I went in to get the pizza. I come back. Tracks out. These guys are hauling butt. I haven't even turned a wrench yet. Yeah, shafts out, tracks out. Yep, time to eat some pizza and then we'll start reconditioning. Well, here's the jack shaft we just took out. And uh, you can see there's a lot of rust in there. And look at how loose the key is. This is typical of those older ones. This is why I try to switch them to the newer spline style. But really, you got to have the top loader chain case to go with it to make the newer spline style work. But that's what we're doing today anyways, so it all works out. Here's how much the rotor twists because of that sloppy keyway. All right, here's uh, here's Dennis's new jack shaft. You can see it's got the spline for the brakes. We like that. That never gets loose. And then I have this little ring here. I have to find the O-ring that seals it, but that ring just goes in there. And that's what the seal in the uh, top loader chain case seals to is that ring. Standard maintenance, we're going to knock the shafts out and grease them. Since we have the skid out, might as well get it all lubed up. All right, so Dennis's rear skid, the shock is junk. It's got no, very little of anything left in it. It should be about twice that hard. Um, the shaft on the rear scissors is completely seized. So we got a donor over here. I dug up the last remnants of an old skid with a couple springs. We're gonna put it in, we're gonna make it work. Farley approved. Yep, Farley says good to go. Dennis getting his fancy new scissor arm on. New shock. There's the remnants over there. Brand new shock, we like new shocks, especially when the old ones are pretty much gone. All right, there's Dennis's skid completed. We just gotta grease it now. Ready to go back in with its uh, upgraded new old rear scissors that came out of the scrap pile. But at least nothing's rusted solid on it. Oh, I mean, you got beer in that one, though. I had no idea. <laughs> Getting the chain case bearings and seals done. All right, it's Saturday and the Wyoming Fun Run's going on, but Dennis and I opted to work on his sled instead of ride. So here we are, Saturday afternoon. Everything from here is us, maybe, hopefully, 
finishing his sled? Finishing. We want to finish it. We Let's want, get her. We need to get Dennis's TX340 ready for Brat Fest. Thanks, John. Put the bearings. So I got this Tecton inch and a half half inch drive socket. It just fits down in there. That's what we're going to use to run the bearings down. And we'll probably use the same thing for the seals. So you want to film? Gotcha. So the great thing about the socket is it's only on the outer race. That's it. I felt her. I'll give her one more. I think yeah. that's home. Good snap ring. And a little bit of a snap ring action. Get it on there. Mm -mm. Yep. She went, home. she went right into the groove. All right, the second one is on a different level. So see, I slid the slid the chain case out. She's home. Yeah, don't be afraid to hit too hard because nah. these castings are strong. Do what you got to do. All right. Snap. 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 We'll call it snap ring. All right. Seals. I got some nice seals right here. Genuine Polaris seals. Old stock. No old stock. That's home. You just got to kind of do it by feel a little bit. Same part number. There we go. Seals top and bottom. So we'll add a little white lithium. We'll bolt up this chain case. We're gonna bolt up this chain case because we're running two wheel drivers. We can put the chain case and the jack shaft on first. And the advantage there is that the jack shaft, the bottom bolt of the flange is really hard to get to if you have to put the uh, track and stuff on first. So we're gonna put that in. We're gonna put the chain case and the jack shaft on get all three bolts on the jack shaft tightened up then we're going to put the drive shaft and the track yep. in this thing yep hope that made sense all right details dennis has been working while i've been in the house we got the chain case bolted in he's got the jack shaft bolted in we have not done these set screws yet because we don't do those until the chain is on and tight and uh the next thing we're gonna do oh, we're gonna slam the track and the drive shaft in are you ready for the track and drive shaft? I am. All right, we're progressing right along. We've got the flange bearings on both sides. We got the track in there on the drive shaft. That's probably black. I'll try to lighten that up in post production. Fancy term. There you go. Dennis shined a light on it. So we're going to put in the chain, tighten up those bolts. We're going to put in the skid. And then the last thing will be the bearings. And this thing will be ready to ride after we tension and align the track. All right, so we're putting an 11 wide chain in a chain case and jack shafts meant for a 13 wide. So we're shimming it out two extra shims beyond what it was. And I have a couple shims down here and go ahead and put it on Dennis. The point of that is to make sure that we're actually locking the gears down and not letting them slide along the whole, uh, the whole shaft. So when I push that back, you can see that on the shaft, top and bottom, the shaft is recessed. Yeah. yeah, the shaft is recessed in there. So when we torque it, everything's going to be clamped up tight to the bearings. Yep, and we got a brand new patch lock bolt. So there we go. This is putting the cap on the reservoir for the last time. Uh, we didn't trouble you with the bleeding, but we bled it the normal way. You know, we'd squeeze it and loosen the, the deal there. And we've got great brakes now with the top loaders. So we're going to hold the brakes and tighten this castle nut up, put a cotter pin in it. Already got the bottom bolt tightened. 
Then we'll do the tension here, get the cover on, fill it with automatic transmission fluid, tension the chain, we're damn near good to go. Take it for a ride. Take it for a ride. All right, we got Dennis' sled done. You guys saw a lot of great upgrades. We got a top loader chain case. We got the better brakes. We got it sealed up better. Probably can't see it, but he's got a plastic mud flap now that won't get sucked into the track. That's good. We did. Uh, we had to do the rear scissor. I mean, she's been. It, it was a really good thing we did this. I mean, the jack shaft and chain case bearings were not good anymore. And how many years ago did we put this together? Four. Four years. Four years. Four years, and it was due. So uh, I'm glad to have good brakes. That's really what I wanted with some brakes that I can trust. Yeah. And used to get me around some corners. Nice and fast. So we're all good. We skipped the Wyoming Fun Run to finish getting it getting it together, but we're gonna have it together for Brat Fest. So uh, we'll see you on the trails.